Hey guys, today we're gonna to do a video on uh, how to read the code reader for the 1985 and 1995 GM vehicles. Um, from 85 to 95, they had an uh, onboard diagnosis, di diagnosis, but it wasn't like the today's code we have. So let me move my light somebody gave me and told me that they had a backyard light that I can have. So I said, okay, well, I thought it was a little street light. Instead, it's a enormous gymnasium light. I don't know how they acquired it, nor do I care, but I have it. Now, when I hook it up, my dog's gonna think every day is daytime. Every night is daytime. Because it's gonna light up the entire yard. Maybe even the neighbor's yard. Maybe even the neighborhood. Okay, so, where is it at? This little device. I have it plugged in already. This little device. I'm sorry, 1982, not 1985, 1982. So, I've been having this book for some years, as you can see, it has phone numbers and everything written on it. Disregard them all because none of them work anymore. But if you wanna call them, be my guest. So this code reader has two functions. It's pretty simple, um, ECM and ABS. Now there is a, <laughs> there is a cheaper way to do this. Um, I do not recommend this, but you can um, do what I used to hear old shade tree mechanics say. They take a, a paper clip and they short out the computer and it makes it read the codes. I would not recommend that. You do that on your own risk. In fact, you do all this if you want. I'm not telling you to do this, but it works for me. So I'm gonna show you how to use it. Okay, so you turn your ignition on. All right, so right away, your engine light will start to blink. It gives a default code three times, which is code 12. It reads as follows. One, one, two, that's code 12. It'll do that three times. If there's any codes after that, it's gonna read it. Like right about now would be the codes. One, two, let's go do that one more time. One, one, two. So after the third cycle, if there's any code stored on your computer, after it reads codes 12 three times, it's gonna give you a short pause for about two to three seconds. Then it's gonna to start to read your, um, it's gonna to start to read your engine codes. So if there was a code by let's say 56, the engine light will blink five times, one, two, three, four, five. Then after that, it'll blink six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Therefore, you would have code 56. Then you would grab this little book and you would refer to, that's ABS, the ECM codes. And that is ABS in Spanish. Here we go, ECM. So if you had code 27, it would be your second gear switch problem. It was very basic back in the day. They didn't have none of the stuff to tell you exactly what the problem was. None of that existed. Of course, if you wanted your ABS, then you switch it to ABS, and then the ABS light would start to blink, and so on and so forth. I got this little device from the parts store, Raleigh Auto Parts, preferably. Um, I'm not I don't sponsor anybody, but this is where I picked it up from. This was about some years ago. This was about seven years ago. Um, I paid about 30, 30, 30 dollars for this, 30 or 40, 30 or 40 bucks. In fact, to this day, I think it's around the same price. I need to start the old van because I haven't ran her in a while, but uh, I have no codes. I haven't ran in a couple of weeks. Uh oh, I need a starter. There we go. I 
but this is this also is a very easy uh, install um, I'll do another video and I'll show you guys how to install a tachometer this is a 93 Astro van with a 4.3 liter engine VIN number Z as in zebra there's this little green wire plugs into the it actually believe it or not guys this engine actually comes with a plug ready for um, an RPM gauge uh, it, it's very simple you find the little plug and you plug your tachometer into it and bam it's working of course you get your lights and everything and only half of mine light up you get your lights and you know uh, hook it to your fuse box but this little green wire in particular the engines come set up with this it's, it's pretty amazing um, you just plug your wire in and, and bam it worked I thought you had to wire something into the computer but it's, it's very simple the engine comes already with it ready to go um, that's it guys so uh, I, I really hope this video helps like and subscribe and I will post more DIY videos and more how-to videos anything that i can figure out anything that you guys want to comment at the bottom and ask any questions feel free to and if there's anything i can answer i will gladly answer and as you can see i don't have an engine light so there you go but again gm code reader you can probably find it on amazon or any parts store i don't know if walmart have it i have not, i don't think walmart has this but you can find it on amazon or a parts store or wherever you prefer well, guys, thank you, and I hope you guys have a great day. And again, like and subscribe. See you guys later.